Hi, it has been a while since I reviewed all these scopes in O1's HDS200 series lineup. One thing I noticed during my reviews is that it appears, as the model number increases, the scopes run progressively harder. And quite a few of my viewers also asked me about the thermal profiles of these handheld scopes. So in this short video, I have all these scopes powered up here, and let's quantify the temperature differences. Now, I have all these scopes powered on and cycle through different modes, and I have left them running for more than half an hour now. The mode probably does not matter that much, as if you recall, when we did the current consumption measurements, the current draw did not change that much, whether the AWG is enabled or not. Anyway, let's take a look at the thermal images with my Hick Micro thermal camera. And from left to right, you can see here, let me just turn on the recording. From left to right, you can see here, that is the HDS272S. And here in the middle, that's the HDS2102S. And to the right, that's the HDS2202S. And you can definitely see that the 2102S runs a little bit hotter than the 272S. And the 2202S runs the hottest. Now let me flip them back and let's see the reverse side. Again, from the reverse side you can see that the HDS272S runs the coolest, whereas the HDS2202S runs the hottest. So the same thing as we see here, and you can see the battery compartment and the battery inside. So even though the 2202S runs the hottest, it is only by a few degrees and in relative comparison with the others. Now, in absolute terms, the operating temperature is still considered normal, although it is on the hotter side, but it shouldn't cause any concerns. Depending on the thermal design, there may be some long-term implications. Of course, if I do encounter any long-term reliability issue, I will definitely let you guys know. All right, I hope this video satisfied your curiosity. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel. I will catch up the next time.